So this is the dry generator system. You can see it's called Gentech, uh, produced by Ansto. Um, we call it the new system, but it's been around for, for quite a few years. So it's not really new, but it's just uh, replaced this redundant wet generator over here. So you would have seen how the wet generator works uh, in the, the previous video. Um, this system, I'm not going to pull it apart completely. Um, the mechanism is relatively uh, similar. So if I take that top off, you can actually see that there's a lead housing inside there. Um, you can actually see there's a lead cap that was very similar to the other one that lifts out. A little bit of a plastic coating around it. Again, it's about 22 kilograms. Um, and you've got an inlet and outlet port. The difference between the inlet and outlet port, port on this one is that this being uh, the outlet port and this being the inlet port is that the inlet port doesn't have a saline bag attached to it. We attach the saline to it and that's what makes it a dry system. So if we pop the lid back on that and that would just uh, screw up to, to secure it. And again you can see that it's uh, all labelled on the outside. And so what we would do is that we would actually have a small um, uh, volume of saline, so 40 mil vial with 20 mils of saline in the bottom of it. Uh, we'd pop the top of it, um, put it into this little housing, so it's a little housing that's designed to hold the vial, and you can see on the top there's a couple of teeth that correspond to the, the, um, the teeth here, and so you would just pop that down, uh, turn it to lock it, and what we have now is we actually have uh, gravity doing the work for us, so not only um, uh, is this system an uh, efficient gen uh, generator system, but you can actually see that uh, when we turn it upside down is that uh, the 20 mils of saline, and you could reduce that to 10 mils if you wanted, but the 20 mils of saline now is at the bottom um, around the, uh, the, the needle or the outlet, and the air is at the top. And what that will do is that when we actually put uh, this evacuated vial, so it's got 40 mils of evacuated air in it, on the other side, that evacuation will actually draw the saline through and across the column in a similar way to we showed on the dry generator. But in this particular case, because we don't have an unlimited supply of saline, we've just got the 20 mils, after that 20 mils of saline is drawn across um, through the, uh, the line, across the, um, um, the column and out the other side, it'll actually draw the remaining 20 mils of air across. So what it does effectively is it actually eludes your generator, removes the technetium, leaves them molybdenum, and then air dries the column and, uh, and the network of, um, of um, pipe work that, that goes with it. So it's actually a fairly efficient system and it leaves it dry. So by leaving it dry, you actually give it a little bit more stability, uh, less chance of aluminium um, and molybdenum breakthrough. So this is the elution pot that would go with that. It does have a little glass window, and so you would normally pop the top of uh, our evacuated vial, you would screw the top on, and that whole system would go upside down on the needle. But for the purpose of uh, this demonstration, I'm going to, because it's not radioactive, I'm going to do it outside of the lead. And the reason I'm going to do that is so you can actually see uh, exactly what occurs. So when we actually pop uh, our, our needle um, through and it punches the scepter, you can actually start to see that this side is bubbling away as it gets drawn through. You can start to see the eluent coming out the other side. And as our saline on the, uh, on the right side there starts to um, reduce, and it's almost gone there now, it'll actually start to draw air through. And then you'll see on the other side here, um, a fairly vigorous bubbling of air as it uh, comes through and air dries the system. So there you can see the air coming through and it's now air drying the column. Once that's finished bubbling away, we would, uh, just almost there. So now it's bubbled away. We would then 